Have you ever wondered how close allied countries can end up on opposite sides of a heated dispute? That's the surprising reality facing the Philippines and China in the West Philippine Sea. These two nations have a long history of cooperation, but tensions are simmering over a strategically important stretch of water. This sea, rich in potential resources and vital shipping lanes, has become a major point of contention. So what exactly is the West Philippine Sea dispute and how did it escalate to this point? Hold tight because we're diving deep into a complex issue with far-reaching consequences. The dispute over the West Philippine Sea, also known as the South China Sea, revolves around claims to resource-rich waters and strategically significant islands. According to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, or UNCLOS, nations have exclusive economic zones, EEZs, extending 200 nautical miles from their coastlines. However, China asserts a sweeping claim over a vast expanse of the sea through the ambiguous Nine Dash Line, which overlaps significantly with the Philippine EEZ and includes the Spratly Islands, a cluster of small islands and reefs. This expansive claim is contested by the Philippines, which bases its arguments on historical rights, geographical proximity, and adherence to UNCLOS. The Philippines contends that China's claims infringe upon its sovereign rights and access to crucial resources, such as rich fishing grounds and potential oil reserves. The territorial and maritime dispute between the Philippines and China has been simmering since the 1960s, but has intensified in recent years. China has adopted an increasingly assertive stance, constructing artificial islands and deploying military assets to bolster its claims. This has prompted the Philippines to strengthen its own defenses, including the deployment of additional military personnel and equipment in the contested region. The dispute has generated significant regional tension and carries the risk of escalating into a more serious conflict. The United States has also voiced concerns about the situation, imposing sanctions on China and expressing support for the Philippines' stance. The discovery of vast oil and gas reserves in the South China Sea has further fueled the already tense relationship between China and the Philippines. A permanent court of arbitration in The Hague ruled in 2016 that China's claims to much of the South China Sea had no legal basis. However, China rejected this ruling, continuing its assertive actions in the region. These actions have included the construction of artificial islands on disputed reefs, the deployment of military vessels, and the harassment of Filipino fishermen, significantly restricting their access to traditional fishing grounds. In response to China's increasing assertiveness, the Philippines has taken several measures to defend its territorial claims. The enactment of the Baselines Law in 2009 was a critical step, formally defining the country's maritime zones. The Philippines also challenged China's expansive claims through legal avenues culminating in the landmark 2016 arbitration case that ruled in favor of the Philippines. Despite this legal victory, China's refusal to acknowledge the ruling has left the Philippines with no choice but to bolster its military presence in the region. The Philippines has sought assistance from allies like the United States, conducting joint patrols and strengthening Coast Guard activities to counter China's aggressive maneuvers. Tensions reached a boiling point on June 17, 2024, when Philippine ships attempting to deliver supplies to the contested Second Thomas Shoal in the Spratly Islands were attacked by the Chinese Coast Guard. The Philippine military reported that Chinese personnel armed with knives and spears, deliberately punctured Philippine boats, resulting in severe injuries to a Filipino sailor. China's justification for these aggressive actions was the protection of its territorial waters, claiming that the Philippine ships had ignored repeated warnings. This violent encounter prompted the United States to reaffirm its defense commitments to the Philippines under their mutual defense treaty. However, Manila, while acknowledging the escalatory nature of China's actions, decided not to invoke the treaty, stating that the incident did not constitute an armed attack under the treaty's terms. The situation remains tense, with both nations holding firm to their territorial claims and the international community watching closely. 
the delicate balance of power in the South China Sea continues to be a pivotal point of contention with the potential for further escalations looming on the horizon. The West Philippine Sea dispute, a thorn in the side of international relations, like a never-ending game of chess with high stakes and no clear winner in sight. To resolve these challenges peacefully, adherence to international law, such as the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UNCLOS, is crucial. Open communication and negotiation between the involved parties, coupled with regional cooperation for managing resources like fisheries, offer a pathway to a sustainable resolution. In a recent incident, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. of the Philippines reaffirmed his nation's stance against yielding to any foreign power following a violent clash between Chinese forces and Filipino Navy personnel. This encounter, which saw Chinese Coast Guard members wielding machetes, axes, and hammers against unarmed Filipino sailors, underscored the volatility of the dispute. Videos and images from the confrontation revealed the chaotic scene. Chinese personnel hitting a Philippine Navy boat with a wooden bar, seizing supplies, and using blinding strobe lights. The Chinese government defended its actions, citing alleged Filipino incursions into Chinese claimed waters, a claim widely disputed by international arbitrators and rival claimants. The global response was swift and unequivocal. The United States, European Union, Japan, Australia, and other Western and Asian nations condemned the violence, emphasizing the need for restraint and peaceful resolution. However, both China and the Philippines pointed fingers, each blaming the other for the provocation. Despite the intensity of the confrontation, President Marcos made it clear that the Philippines would not invoke its mutual defense treaty with the United States, reaffirming his commitment to peace. We are not in the business to instigate wars, he told his forces, commending their restraint and emphasizing the country's historical resistance to foreign domination. Marcos's visit to the western island province of Palawan, facing the South China Sea, highlighted the gravity of the situation. There, he awarded medals to the Navy personnel involved in the clash, including one who lost his thumb. His message was resolute. Despite intense provocation, the Philippines would pursue peace. This stance was mirrored by Philippine Military Chief General Romeo Brauner Jr., who praised the Navy's calm and peaceful disposition, asserting that it should not be mistaken for acquiescence. The territorial disputes in the South China Sea, involving multiple nations including China, the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan, remain a potential flashpoint. The United States has reiterated its commitment to defending the Philippines, its oldest treaty ally in Asia, should Filipino forces be attacked in these contested waters. As articulated by President Marcos in his poignant address, in defending the nation, we stay true to our Filipino nature, aspiring to resolve all disputes through peaceful means. While the journey ahead presents numerous obstacles, it is through unwavering dedication to fostering peace and engaging in diplomatic dialogues that the nations involved can aspire to maneuver through these tumultuous waters and pave the path towards a future filled with harmony and cooperation. Delving into the complexities of the West Philippine Sea dispute is like a history lesson on steroids. Share this video with your crew. Let's stir up some brain waves and unravel these global puzzles together. Peace needs our spotlight. Thanks for tuning in. If this vid gave your brain a tickle, show some love and hit that like button. Ready for more mind-bending global talks? Drop your thoughts below on the next hot topic you're craving to dissect. Stay curious, stay woke, 